morning, children. We're happy to do another Kids Live for you today. And all the mummies and daddies and grandparents who listen in are welcome to you too. Today I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me when I was about eight years old. I was only a little girl. And you know, I have two brothers and two sisters. So there are five children in our family. And one day, my mummy and daddy said they have to go to a meeting. They're going to be out for most of the day. And like all parents do, they leave some instructions for the children. And they said to my older brothers, look after the three girls. They told us what we must do, the chores around the home. They told us what we should eat. And they said, stay at home until we come back. When our jobs were finished, we were allowed to play. And children all went very well. We did our jobs. And then we played together. And the morning passed very quickly. And then one of us had a great idea. It was about lunchtime and we were feeling quite hungry. We knew that when mum came home, she would probably cook for us. But, you know, we were little children and we really felt like a treat. So one of us thought we can just quickly run to the deli, it's like a little coffee shop, and buy some hot chips. Now hot chips were a treat in our family. So we all agreed that this was indeed a very good idea and one of us slipped out of the house. And the rest of us, we waited. And it didn't take that long, maybe 20, 30 minutes later, that one sibling came back home. With a lovely big packet of chips. So we dashed the chips into the house. And then we ate, we ate, we ate, we ate, and we enjoyed them. Do you know there were so many chips there we couldn't finish them? And while we were still in the back bedroom eating these hot chips, we heard the front door open. Oh, mum and dad were home. So we quickly put the hot chips underneath the blanket on the bed. We put them underneath and we closed the blanket. Now, children, we were told to stay at home. But mum and dad didn't know. We came out of the bedroom smiling. 
and we acted like nothing was wrong. So often we do that when we've done something wrong, we just hide it under a blanket or hide it somewhere. Do you know, children are very good at hiding things. Maybe it's a little toy. Do you know, maybe you're playing with your brother's toy. And then it breaks. Like this little plane. Or maybe it's a jet. Maybe you played with it and then it broke. But it was an accident. So you just put the plane down very quickly and walk out the room. And that broken part, well, that can go behind the cupboard. And my brother will never think it was me who broke the plane. Or maybe it's your ruler. Uh, you play, play, play. And then snap. And then you put it down and you walk away. And you don't tell anyone that you broke it. Do you know another example is little cards from board games. Sometimes you play with someone and then you forget and you put your card in your pocket. And then you walk home and then you undress in the evening and you find that card. And you think, ah, it's only a card, doesn't matter. And you just put it somewhere in the cupboard or maybe under the bed or somewhere out the way. And you think, ah, it's not important. Children, they are things that we hide. But sometimes we can also hide things deep in our heart. It's like we tell a lie. And we're trying to hide something. It's like covering it with a blanket. And maybe you cheated in a test. And then you come home, no one saw it, nobody knows that you cheated. But it's there in your heart, it's hiding in, under that blanket of your heart. Do you know, children, there's a verse in Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. It says, He who covers his sin will not prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes his sin will find mercy. Do you know, God is teaching us here what to do with our sin. Don't hide it under a blanket. Don't hide it in your heart. It says, confess it. Go and make it right. God hates sin and uncovered sin will, will be punished. Children, it's far better that you take that broken toy to your brother. And you can say, my dear brother, I was playing with your jet and it broke. 
And you can say, I'm so sorry. And you know, your brother will probably say, I forgive you, don't worry. Whether it's that card or the ruler, be open about what happens. And children, those sins in your heart, that lie which you just want to cover with a blanket. Bring it to the light. Say, Lord Jesus, I have done wrong. In First Chronicles, we read a story in which David sinned. King David decided to count how many men there were in Israel. But God was not happy with David's choice. And you know, when David realized that he had done wrong, he didn't hide his sin. It says he wept, he cried. And then he prayed to God and he said, I have sinned greatly. Isn't it wonderful that David didn't choose to cover his sin? He went to God and he said, God, I have sinned. And that's exactly what we need to do when we do something wrong. But maybe now I must tell you the end of my story. Remember, the hot chips are still under the blanket. Mummy and Daddy were so happy to see us. And do you know what Mummy brought in her bag? She said, children, we're a bit late for lunch. But we thought we can treat you today. And here are some hot chips. Not just one packet, several packets. And we children just stood and stared. We didn't really feel like eating any more hot chips. And my mum was looking at us thinking, what is wrong? These children are usually so happy to have hot chips for lunch. And do you know what we had to do? We had to pull those hot chips out from under the blanket. And we said, sorry, mummy. We were disobedient. We left the house and we went and bought hot chips. And now we're full. We can't eat your special treat. Children, I pray that you would learn to live in the light. If you do wrong, bring it to the light. Confess your sin so that it will go well with you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for these lessons that we can learn. Help us not to hide our sin. Please teach us to walk in the light. Amen.